Alright, what's going on guys? I'm bringing you a 132 kill game, playing some solo multi-team hardpoint on standoff using the MSMC. As far as the class setup, using flag check, a hardline scavenger, toughness, dexterity with a C4. Blackbird dogs and swarm as you guys can see, got that weaponized 115 camo. And that's pretty much all I need to say about the gameplay. Um, this video is going to be about all the roster changes that have happened pretty much since God Champs and how crazy it's been and basically just my opinions on all of them. Alright, so with that all out of the way, let's get into these roster changes and I guess I'll just start with Optic Nation of course because it's probably the biggest one. So, Ricky left SB I think. Did he leave SP? I think so. Um, Miracles and, and Killa left Justice. And Embo's obviously got dropped from the main Optic team. And they liked him or whatever, I guess. And they decided to give him his own second team, which is pretty weird because they didn't they didn't want to give Scumpy his own team even back when they had their little, uh, you know, argument or whatever and he left and all that shit. And then also there was like a tweet that Hex tweeted out like two weeks ago where he said there was a very small possibility. He said like .001 chance that they're going to have a second team. And I don't know, all that went down and then, you know, here we are. They have two teams. Optic Nation has returned. I think the last time they had that was during Runner for 3. But as far as this team, how they're going to do, so Killa, Embos, Miracles, and Ricky, uh, I think they already have a lot of chemistry together, so that really shouldn't be too much of an issue. Especially, you know, uh, Miracles, Killa, and Ricky, you know, they played on LV for so long. Uh, well, not so long, but even other than that, like, Embos plays with them a lot in, like, S&D tournaments and stuff, and they've all been playing with each other for a long time. So I think they're all pretty comfortable playing with each other, so it should be a pretty quick adjustment into getting their teamwork down, and this is going to be a, probably a strong team. I don't know, they're not going to be in Season 2, so I don't know if they plan on going to Anaheim through the open bracket or whatever, the, the new system, I don't even know how that works all the way. Uh, but overall, I think this Optic Nation team, um, you know, technically I guess they're supposed to be the B team or whatever. Uh, but, you know, they could surprise people and end up doing better than, you know, the actual Optic team or whatever. So, who knows, man. Uh, it's, it's a pretty good team, and uh, we'll see where they go now. Phase Black. Phase Black is basically SB... Uh, with formal instead of apathy, so it's a Dito sensor formal and Saints now this team actually is really weird because everyone knows that um, Dito and uh, Sensor like don't even like each other um, There was so much like drama going on between them. That was the reason SB broke up and everything yet They're teaming together again, which is pretty weird. So I don't, I don't know man I they they just do their thing. I guess they realize that they're a good team or whatever they decided to team together. Now, whether or not I think this team is going to be better than SB, I don't know. Mainly because if you watched SB play, Apathy did a lot of good things for them. Now, whether he's like a better player than Formal, I don't know. Like individually wise, like as far as like gun skill and all that, no, he's not better than Formal. Um, but what for what he did for that team, he probably is better than Formal. And I mean by like big plays and stuff. Uh, I remember definitely, definitely during uh, U.S. Championships, he made so many big plays for them. That, I don't know, so this team could work out, but it, at the same time, it might not work out because if you look at it, um, you know, Saints is like supposed to be the slayer for that team. Dito as well, I guess, a little bit. Uh, not as much. Well, he's kind of like the AR slayer, uh, but now Formal's coming in, so we'll see how Saints has to adjust to Formal coming in, also trying to slay. And, uh, you know, because I think Apathy helped out Sensor a lot on the objective work, and Formal, that's not really Formal's thing, so I don't know how this team's going to work out, to be honest. I think the old SP team probably would have been better, uh, simply based on the fact of, you know, everyone having specific roles that they need to, you know, fulfill. As far as this team, some of the people have, like, mixed roles. Uh, they, like, overlap each other's roles and stuff, so I don't know. Now, the new SP is Method, Stainville, John, and Spacely. Uh, I don't know about this team. Because, you know, John Methods and uh, Spacely and even Stainville, like, all these guys, they haven't really been in that many Ghost tournaments. You know, um, none of them were at Champs. Were they, was Stainville at Champs? I don't think he was. I don't believe so. I could be retarded right now and just completely forgetting what team he was on. But I don't think he was. Uh, I think he was on Justice and then they didn't make it. I don't know, something like that. Anyways, but this could be a good team. This could be a bad team. I, don't, I haven't really got to see too much of John or Spacely, or even Methods really that much in uh, Call of Duty Ghosts. So I'm not I'm not really sure, you know, because they had to sit out for champs, and so they didn't really get to, you know, get too much spotlight. So I'm not sure how good they all are. Uh, but I know Methods is a good S&D player. Um, John's always been pretty consistent in every Call of Duty. And Spacely, you know, he's a solid OBJ. So I don't know. This team might be good, might be bad. I'll have to see them in action a little bit and, you know, make a better judgment. Then we have Justice, which just threw together like a random team after, you know, uh, 
Neslo left for TK, we'll talk about that in a second, you know, and then Killer and Miracles left for Optic, and then Stamen was left on that team by himself, he just left, because he didn't he didn't have anyone, so. They just threw together Twiz, Doubt, Sin, and BL Fire. Not, I don't really have anything to even say about this team. I haven't even really watched uh, Doubt or Sin or really Twiz too much. I watched BL Fire a little bit, but I don't know, man. I think BL Fire actually switched his role. He said he switched to a sub now, so I don't even know about this team. Pretty questionable. I don't really see them having too much success. Uh, and then we got TK. It's TK, no matter, they just have like that original, out of that original four, they're always like trading players and stuff, you know, out of that original four of like Theory, Neslo, Sharp, and Gunjar. So now Theory left, and they brought back in Neslo, so it's Neslo, Sharp, Gunjar, and Apathy. I think this could be a very, very good team, uh, simply for the fact that, you know, Neslo, Sharp, and Gunjar should already, you know, have their chemistry and stuff. And they should have their teamwork. That's something that this team really relied on was their teamwork. And I think Apathy is just as good as Theory, if not better. Uh, especially playmaking-wise, uh, I think he's better. He, he, I don't know. I can't stress that enough. Uh, I really saw him making a lot of big plays um, all throughout champs and regionals and all that. So this team should be pretty good. And then we obviously we have uh, the main Optic team, Optic Gaming, with Scumpy, Clay, Nature, and Proofy. Um, I don't know about this team, to be honest. It seems that every team Proofy goes to seems to have like some sort of problems. Uh, it seems that also every team he goes to, they already have like a designated Slayer. I know when he uh, when they released him or whatever to make Phase Black, and uh, Jcap and all of them all said in the interviews that they they were struggling because him and Classic were both trying to slay, and it wasn't really working out. So they decided you know to let Proofy go or whatever he left or whatever the situation was. And I see the exact same situation happening here because. You know, Scumpy's already here. You know, Scumpy is the slayer for Optic. Everyone knows that. And Scumpy's not... I don't see him just stepping aside and letting Proofy come in and, you know, take that role. And then you have Clay as well, who's another slayer, although he's an AR slayer, so it shouldn't really affect him too much. And, you know, I think Proofy's more comfortable running an AR, but he's not going to be running too much of an AR with Clay on the team, except for outside outside of... Maybe on Octane, maybe a little Warhawk, but... And obviously S and D, but, I mean, as far as, like, respawn... I don't, actually, probably not even Warhog. They're probably going to run three subs, so. Probably just on Octane, on respawns, Proofy will run an AR. But, I don't know. This this team, it you know, on paper, it looks really fucking good. But, you know, it doesn't always work out the way it looks on paper, so. Anyways, like, an individual player, you know, Proofy's definitely better than Embos. But whether his playstyle fits this team, because, you know, Nadeshot, Embos was helping Nadeshot a lot on the OBJ. And Proofy's not that type of player, so Nadeshot's gonna, you know, be all by himself once again on the objective, so that's not gonna be good. But anyways, we'll, we'll see how it works out. Then we have Envy, um, you know, that man, Christopher Parasite. He just, I don't know, I'm not even gonna get started on him. That'll be a whole new commentary topic. Uh, but it's Parasite, Merc, Study, and Nameless. I think this is gonna be a good step up for this team, as long as, you know, Parasite's ego and shit doesn't, you know conflict with everyone because they really needed some help in the slaying department because Rambo really was struggling like slaying wise like he was really like struggling to even like get kills or even go close to positive so Parasite definitely won't be struggling with that but the thing about Rambo is he also was doing a, a lot of OBJ work and helping out Merc a lot with the OBJ so Merc's probably gonna be like pretty much by himself doing OBJ because Parasite does not fuck with like capit flags or anything like that uh so now, Study's probably going to have an easier time because, you know, Study, the one thing about him is he, he was pretty inconsistent at champs, and I think it's because he needed help slaying sometimes, and he didn't really have it. And now he should have that help with Parasite, so I, I don't really know. I mean, on paper, it looks like an improvement, but it, it kind of depends on how they end up playing. But, yeah, I guess I guess it's a pretty pretty solid NV squad, and I know Rambo's supposed to be the coach or whatever now, but he's actually called like an analyst or something, so I don't think he's actually going to be coaching them. I don't even know what the situation is. I think what it is is they're not allowed to have coaches anymore or something. I don't know, something like that. Uh, so that's going to be kind of weird, but anyways, it just depends if Parasite can stop being so like hard-headed and listen to what other people are saying and maybe take some you know criticism or whatever, but anyways, that's just my opinion. Uh, then we have Phase Red. We got JCap Classic Replays in Theory. This team should do very well because JCap Classic and Replays are the, you know, the main three. They've been teaming for quite a while now. And Theory coming in to help out with the OBJ and stuff, it shouldn't really affect their you know their rhythm because he's not coming in trying to slay and take all the kills or anything. So um, I think this team's going to be really good. I think a top three, top four team for sure. Uh, I don't know, just, just on the way that the playstyles have matched out. But um, yeah, I don't know. That's my opinion. Now, the two new Curse teams, Curse Black and Curse Orange, is kind of weird. Um, so, Curse Black is Enable, Tipsy, 
Mochilla and Burns off. This is like a mix of like, you know, Curse and Y and Justice and Elevate or I don't know, man. But this team, you know, Mochilla, obviously the Slayer. Um, I'm not really sure what Enable does, to be honest. I think he's kind of like a Slayer support type of player. Um, you know, Tipsy's just all around. You know, a little bit of Slayer as well, I guess. And then Burns off, obviously, on the OBJ. This team could be good. I think, you know, Mochilla and Burns off already have some chemistry. So, you know, that should be good, but uh, I really can't predict too much about this team. And then we have Curse Orange, we have Attach, Miyagi, Mud Dog, and Croaster. Um, I don't know too much about this team. I know Attach and Miyagi were on uh, Curse Youth, so I'm not even sure why Mud Dog and Croaster are teaming with them because I don't know if they'll be old enough for COD Champs next year or old enough for any of the European events. Like, like Gfinity, I believe you have to be 18 as well, so I'm not really sure why they're teaming with them if they're not going to be of age. So I'm thinking this is like a short-term team or something. I'm, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe they are finally. Maybe they turned 18 now. I don't know. But yeah, I don't know. It looks a bit weird, but I don't really know. I can't really say anything about that team either. But anyways, yeah. So that's pretty much it as far as, you know, the roster changes. I don't think I forgot anyone. I might have. If I did, I apologize. Uh, but those are just my basic thoughts on all of them. I, I and now rosters are locked in, so there won't be any roster changes for a while. Uh, I think. But you, I mean, you never know. But yeah. That's pretty much it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to leave a like rating if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you are not already. Follow me on Twitter. Links in the description down below. Other than that, have a good day, guys, and peace out.